situation, Mark, unfolding in the channel just over a year since 27 migrants drowned in the biggest uh, maritime disaster in over 30 years? Yes, and UK authorities and government ministers have been warning about the potential for a tragedy in the English Channel, similar to that one 13 months ago, if people continue to come across, especially in the winter months. Well, what we can confirm now is a major incident underway in the English Channel. It unfolded just before 3 a.m. with reports that a small migrant inflatable had capsized. Now, we understand that more than 30 people were thrown into the water. You can imagine uh, the temperatures out in the channel are pretty cold at this time of year. The sea temperature is probably a bit warmer than the land temperature, but still very, very cold and hypothermia can set in extremely quickly. Now, scrambled to this air sea rescue uh, were border force vessels, uh, two lifeboats, two Coast Guard helicopters from Lid Airport and from Portsmouth. French fishing vessels that were in the area have been involved and we understand have picked up some of those who were in the water. Uh, also, the Royal Naval Patrol vessel HMS Severn, which was in the area as well, has responded to this. Uh, ambulances and the air ambulance have landed at Dover Harbour. Uh, we understand that already some of the migrants who have been picked up in the channel from the water have now been taken to Dover. We're told that Ashford Hospital in Kent has been told to clear the A&E, that they're expecting multiple casualties to be brought, brought to that particular hospital as this incident continues to unfold, but a very significant incident that is unfolding in the English Channel this morning. And Mark, um, you mentioned about the craft. Um, I've been to Dover. I've seen the state, a lot of these craft, often they're kind of homemade, they're botched, they're barely seaworthy. And doesn't this just underline the fact that the true position to take on this is the humanitarian position of stopping these craft leaving France in the first place, especially at this time of year, Mark, because the conditions in the channel can change within moments, can't they? Yeah, I mean, obviously, even from the people smugglers' point of view, the last thing they want to do is put a boat out into the channel that's going to sink. That's bad for their business, to put it bluntly. But they take a very significant risk when they put what are effectively uh, ad hoc vessels that are made uh, by Chinese manufacturers to order for the criminal gangs. Uh, they're pretty flimsy. Uh, they've been known to burst. And, of course, that vessel back in November of last year, uh, it deflated while in the middle of the channel. So a very significant risk involved in this. And, of course, we know that those 27 people died 13 months ago. But there have been a number of fatal incidents uh, that have taken place in the English Channel uh, over the last year. We'll probably never know how many people have lost their lives because people are lost overboard and th their bodies are, are never found. But this is altogether different this morning. This is a major incident with a vessel that's capsized and more than 30 people in the freezing water there. It will, by the very nature of having to do a channel operation and to get the rescue services to those people, it takes a, a quite a significant time. Clearly, if there were some fishing boats a bit nearer, they were able to pluck some of the people from the water, uh, but it will have taken many minutes before the border force vessels, the naval vessels and the lifeboats and helicopters were able to get to the scene. Minutes which could make the difference between life and death and sadly, the information that we're receiving from our sources is that there may well have been fatalities uh, as a result of this ongoing incident. Clearly, the Prime Minister, the Home Secretary, will be kept up to speed with what has happened here. This comes less than a day after Rishi Sunak stood up in the House of Commons and delivered what he said was a multi-pronged plan that they hope will cut down on the number of small boats coming across the channel, including the creation of a small boats operational command uh, to better bring together 
border force, uh, the other rescue agencies, the National Crime Agency, Coast Guard and alike to uh, better coordinate their operations in the channel.